Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. A lot of you have been asking me which code editor I use for my videos. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the code editor I use and also some of the extensions that can be useful for you. So first of all, I'll just list out some of the code editors that are available for web designing. So these are some of the popular ones. Brackets, Notepad++, Atoms and Sublime Text. There are so many other code editors as well, but these are some of them. So the code editor that I use in my videos is brackets. I also use atoms a lot. So sublime text is also a code editor that can be used for web designing, but it is a paid software. You can download the trial version for it and purchase the full license if you like it. But brackets, atoms and notepad plus plus are all free. So in this video, I'll just talk about brackets and some of the extensions that can be used with brackets to make your web designing process faster. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to download brackets. So for that, go to brackets.io, which is the official website of brackets. Here you can see the download button. And so just click on the download button to download the latest version of brackets and uh, save it and it will be downloaded and after downloading brackets just install it it's a simple process and after opening brackets you will see something like this and you can go over to file click on new and then again go to file and click on save here you can create new files that you want for example about.html and we have this about.html created over here other than that, you can also right click on the file itself and there's an option to open it with brackets. So one of the main reasons that I use brackets for my videos is this live preview feature over here. So we will just enable live preview. Just click on this button over here and you will have a Chrome window opened over here. Now here you can type in your HTML code. We will just type hi everyone and press ctrl s to save this document and we can see the web page over here is refreshed automatically so if we type something else for example break and uh, how are you today and click on save we can see it is also updated over here in real time so this is an awesome feature that brackets has so now let me just maximize this now what we will do is install some extensions that can be useful for speeding up the web development process so we will click on this button over here which is the extension manager and the first extension that we are going to look at is called emmet so just click on install and this extension is installed in brackets we just close it out. Emmet has a lot of features. So I will just demonstrate a couple of them. So one of the features is that if you want to type a tag, for example, you want to type HTML tag. So you have to just type HTML and press tab on your keyboard and you will get this closing and the opening tags. And in here, if you want to type the head tag, you have to just type head and then press tab will get the opening and the closing tags you can do it for all the other tags as well paragraph tag or unordered list list item or anything that you want so now if you want to have a tag with a class name you can type in for example if you want to have a paragraph tag with a class name of my paragraph you can just type in p dot my paragraph and hit tab you will have this paragraph tag created as well as the class of my paragraph attached to it so you can do this with all the other tags that you have so if you want to create a division with a class name of content you have to just type div dot content and press tab you will get this division with a class of content for divisions you don't even need to type div you can just type dot content and hit tab it will create it will create a division with a class of content 
you can also create a division with a class of content as well as an id of main content so if you hit tab over here you can see the division is created and we have a class of content and an id of main content so now if you want to have an unordered list and an li inside it you can type in ul greater than li and hit tab you will get the result that you want you can also if you want to have 10 allies in it you can type ul greater than li star 10 and hit tab you will get this result over here now the last thing that i want to show you about emmet is a feature that can be useful for you if you are uh, getting started with a new html5 document so if you want to create a basic html5 structure all you have to do is type exclamation and tab and there you have the whole html5 structure over here you don't have to type all these things by yourself just in the title and and get started with working on your html5 document there are a lot of other features of emmet if you want me to create a separate video about emmet features please mention it in the comments below now we will move on to the next extension so we'll again go to the extension manager now the next extension is called beautify so we will just type beautify and we have this extension over here we'll just click on install and we have this extension installed now we'll check what it does so we will type our basic html5 structure suppose we have all these things and everything is indented incorrectly so if you have this type of document and you want to indent everything correctly and all you have to do is select this and go over here this button over here this is called beautify and click on it and it will uh, indent everything correctly so you can also use the shortcut key for beautify that is mentioned in the edit menu so you can also use this shortcut so this is the main purpose of beautify it can be useful for you if, if you are working on a large document and you may have some things indented incorrectly so you just have to select everything and click on beautify so now we will move on to the next extension so here we will go to our extension manager and we will type brackets color picker so this is the extension brackets color picker we will just go ahead and install it so now let's see what brackets color picker can do for us so first of all we'll create a basic html5 structure and uh, here we will also link our css file so i will type in link and here the name of our css file and we'll go to our css here if i type something related to color for example background color and if i press ctrl or command alt k you can get this color picker over here and you can choose whatever color you want for example i will choose this color and you will get the hex value of the color over here so let me just check it in the browser so we will go to our html and click on live preview so we have this color right over here so this is a pretty useful brackets extension so now let's move on to the next extension and here we will type color highlighter and just install this extension It is installed successfully we'll just close it out and now if we'll go to our css we can see the color that we have applied is being highlighted over here for example if we have another color color red we can see it has a red background if we have another color for example 
black we have the black background over here so it becomes uh, really easy for uh, a designer to see what color is being applied so this is also a cool extension that you need to have now we will move on to the next extension so for that we will go to our extension manager again and here we will type brackets icons just install this extension over here now what happens is that we get the these icons over here besides our file so in this way we can know which type of file it is for example if we have a new javascript file we will save it as a javascript file script.js so we have this icon of javascript over here so it becomes uh, easier for a designer to check which type of file type it is these are some of the basic extensions that you can have for brackets these extensions will definitely make your web designing process faster and easier and i hope this video was useful to you and if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any questions uh, you can write them in the comments section and do not forget to subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates i'll be uploading more videos thanks a lot for watching have a nice day